everybody wants to save time and increase their efficiency and if you are one of those people my friend i have five excel tips for you that can help you to save time and increase your efficiency so let's get started and make sure to subscribe to the channel because i'll be coming out with a lot of cool excel tips and tricks in coming weeks so let's dive in so i want to start off with this tip now here in this worksheet i have a data and i have few columns now what happens is when you click a cell and then right click you get this option to filter data based on the value that you have in that cell so when i use this option it filters all the rows where i have the region arizona now i want to make it more time saving so what i'll do i'll go to my file tab and i'll open my options here i just want to customize my quick access toolbar so first of all i'll go to commands not in the ribbon and from here i'm going to select auto filter so i'll add auto filter and i will move it to the first button on the quick access toolbar now along with that i'm going to go to data tab and from here i'm going to select clear all filters and oops let me and now i'm going to add it to the quick access toolbar so first i have auto filter and then i have clear all the filters and now i'm going to click okay now what happens is when you add anything any option on the quick access toolbar and then you press alt key alt key from your keyboard it gives you a shortcut to use so if i want to use the first option from here that is auto filter i need to use alt plus 1 now let's back now let's come back to my data now let's say if i want to filter all the values where i have new york so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press alt and 1 and here i have all the rows filtered with the value new york so basically this option is working with the keyboard and now as i have this clear filter option there on the second number so now to remove this filter i'm going to use alt 2 and again if i want to go with something else let's say florida i'm going to again use alt 1 and to remove to clear this filter i'm going to use alt 2 so all you need to do is go to your quick access toolbar and then add these two buttons here which are auto filter from commands not in the ribbon and clear all filters from the data tab and once you add these buttons you can simply use them with using alt and then the number of the options that you have on the quick access toolbar so it's pretty much a time saver and help you to filter data quickly now moving to the next step i have this small data here and i want to add subtotals based on the regions so for this first of all i'm gonna sort this data based on the reason so it gives me all the rows in a group i have east north south and west but in a group and now i'm gonna select this entire data and go to data tab and from outline i'm gonna select the option subtotal and in the subtotal i have this option to specify so which column i want to use to calculate the sum or even i can use a different kind of calculation let's say if i want to count average max min product whatever and now i'm gonna click ok and here i have subtotals for each of the region and i also have one grand total in the end now what happens is when you use this option it automatically add groups here that you can collapse and expand and if you don't want these grouping here you can still have the subtotals so for this i'm gonna select data again 
and I'm going to go to my outline option and then ungroup and click on ungroup again. Click OK. And then again, I'm going to go to outline, ungroup and ungroup and rows again. So it removes those groups from the data, but you still have subtotals and a grand total. So here I want to add total for all the columns and all the rows in one go. And for this, I'm going to select the total row and then the total column. And now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt plus equals. And it would add a sum function, an auto sum in all the rows and all the columns. And here I want to convert these numbers into percentage. But when I select this range and try to use the keyboard shortcut control shift and percentage, so it basically shows me a wrong percentage. So instead of using a formula, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 100 here and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to select this range, open the paste special. And from paste special, I'm going to click on values and then divide. Now I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control shift and percentage to convert these values into a percentage. All right, so here I have a blank worksheet. And now the problem with blank worksheet is when you want to select a range, it, it's a little tough because you cannot use a keyboard shortcut. So I cannot use control, shift and arrow because when I do that, it will select the entire row or entire column. So let's say if I want to select only the first thousand cells and I want to apply something on it, I want to apply a color. So what I'll do, I'll enter the address of the cell here. And then I'm going to press and hold the shift key and then I'm going to hit enter. So it selects the range A1 to A1000 in just a second. Or if I want to select, let's say, C thousand again. I need to press the shift key and then hit enter. 